Last year, the University of Massachusetts struggled losing all four of their games they played in blowout fashion. Going into Walt Bell's third season, the Minutemen will look to improve their team and pull out a few wins this season. But how will they do? Let's talk about that. As we enter the month of July, we are now in prime preview magazine season as the college football season quickly approaches. Over the next two months, I will be previewing every college football team, all 130. And in this episode, I will be looking at the University of Massachusetts, aka UMass. UMass only played four games last season due to the global health crisis, where they only scored one touchdown and entered the red zone twice. They played teams that were in mid-season form when they were just starting their season, and due to their state quarantine rules, they did not get to practice much. The biggest question mark around the team is the quarterback position, as they have played seven different quarterbacks in the past two seasons. Head coach Walt Bell, who is 1-15 at UMass, will have his work cut out for him, but does return 79% of his overall production from last season, which ranks 28th nationally. On offense, they return 88% of their production from last year, which ranks 10th nationally. The question everybody is wondering is whether that's a good thing due to the fact that they only scored 10 points in two games. The answer, we'll have to wait and see. Bell will first need to find himself a starting quarterback if he wants to turn the Minuteman program around. Since 2019, there's only been three times that the quarterback who started the game ended the game. That number will need to increase in 2021. Bell went into the transfer portal where he grabbed Tyler Little, a 6'5", 220-pound quarterback who played at Colorado. Little was a four-star recruit out of high school and could be the guy for Bell. He will need to beat out Garrett DeZorro and true freshman Brady Olsen for the starting job this fall. At running back, J.C. Ellis Merriweather was never able to show off his ability last season, but will hope to have more of an opportunity this year. They also added K. Ron Adams from Rutgers, the transfer portal, and Juco running back Jonathan White. Although he played some quarterback last year, Josiah Johnson has the ability to be a future NFL prospect at tight end, according to Walt Bell. The Minutemen return four of their top five pass catchers in terms of production, but are still a unit with the biggest concern surrounding it. When it comes to the offensive line, UMass will need to replace left tackle Larnell Coleman, who could be competing for an NFL roster spot this fall. They return three starters and add North Texas tackle Brian Parrish, along with former LSU, Louisiana Tech, and Michigan tackle Willie Allen. On the defensive side, UMass returned 71% of their production, which ranks 65th in the nation. Last season, they led up 161 points, which is a 4.25 points per game average. On a positive note, they returned 8 starters, and it will be the first time Walt Bell will have depth on the defensive side. On the defensive line, they lose Jake Bizeco to Boston College, but do return seven of their top eight defensive linemen. They also added Rutgers transfer Devin Baldwin to their line. When it comes to the linebackers, it is probably the position group with the most amount of question marks. They return Tayrai Powell, but that is pretty much it. For the defensive backs, they return all four of their starters from last season. They also added two power five transfers from North Carolina that could be immediate impacts. Bryce Watts started his collegiate career at Virginia Tech before transferring to North Carolina. He then transferred from North Carolina to UMass and could be an immediate impact in Amherst. Bryson Richardson should start at Nickel Corner. Along with those two, Noah Boykin entered his second season in Amherst after transferring from North Carolina himself. When it comes to the special teams, they should improve this season. It doesn't look like the Minutemen will have a strong season this year, but it does look like they are building towards the future with the hopes of making a bowl game in 2022. They play Pittsburgh, Boston College, and Florida State with two of those three games being the first weeks of the season. They play the 88th toughest schedule and could start the season 0-8. With games against Rhode Island and Maine, they could earn their first two wins in two years before losing to Army but finishing the season on a positive note with a win over New Mexico State. I project their record will be 3-9, which is the same record Athlon and ESPN both project. Hopefully, UMass will be able to snap their losing streak, earning their first win since September 28, 2019, a game they beat Akron 37-29. It will probably be a tough season for the Minutemen, but it seems like they are building towards the future. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the preview series. 
Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.